All right, so down the rabbit hole we go. There's my little V-twin. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Anyways, the crankcase cover looks good. Oil pump seems like it's working. Um, that looks fine, but then you got pieces of the camshaft. Plastic gear for the camshaft. Here's what's left of it. Um, anyways, so I was looking in the bottom, we found three pieces of spring and then two parts that go to the camshaft. I'm pretty sure the spring probably goes on this little thing over here somewhere. But I know for a fact that this, this part and this part um, held what's left of that gear on. Um, <coughs> as we move over here, this little guy right here flew off and he smacked it right there, took a big chunk out. I was like, okay, that didn't actually scrape the inside of the board that I can see. And he took a little chunk out there as well. And then, uh, okay, there's another little spot he took out and scuffed it up. It's like, okay, that's not that bad. I can just get the new plastic gear, new little metal pieces, two of those. The spring's probably still good. But then I was looking at it and I was like, okay, I pulled out these, these lifters or whatever. And there's a giant hole in there. I'm like, what the heck, man? That hole right there does not look like it belongs in the block. I was like, okay, oh my goodness, there's another hole right there. I don't know if it belongs there, but it's there, that's for sure. Yeah, so I'm going to go cry some more, ponder my next actions, but I have no idea what I'm going to do now. just want to know what those holes are, but uh, if anybody needs a crankcase, Starter heads, rocker arms on them, maybe a carburetor, and I've got that. Block's about a thousand dollars on a replacement. It's the cheapest I've found is like nine hundred ninety-six. The new engine's like twelve or thirteen hundred bucks. So we'll see.